Casbah. It's a Mediterranean restaurant. It's fairly new. It's got uh, several reviews so far on Google. And they're 30. all five star. 30. They're all five star. Uh, it's very nice, very peaceful, relaxing. Uh, and the people working here have been extremely welcoming. The chef herself came out and suggested what we should get. And, uh, I don't know, it's very nice so far. And, uh, they brought us some pickled... I'm not sure what, I think that might be like a cabbage. And, uh, there was a couple olives that I've already eaten. Mm. And it's got some bread. Nice. It's very nice so far. The chef uh, brought us out some complimentary um, dippings. This is uh, baba ganoush and hummus and a um, yogurt of some sort. You want to take a look here? I'm pretty sure that you got the hummus and the baba ganoush mixed up. I think I did too. I'm excited to try them though. Should I try a bite? Mm-hmm. Baba ganoush is that one probably, right? This is Thomas is the darker creamer. one. Mm. This is the freshest um, hummus that I think I've ever tasted. Like it actually tastes like it was made two seconds ago. Mm -hmm. It's got a very fresh flavor. Nice chickpea, smooth. Um, of course, some oil on top, which I always love. I'm gonna try bubble ganache. What's bubble ganache? Eggplant. Eggplant, that's right. Can you give that a try? Oh my goodness. I thought I had had bubble ganache before, but this is such a unique taste. Maybe I haven't. Hmm. It's smoky. Like the um, eggplant has been smoked or something. Like a real smoky, robust taste. So good. It's chicken shawarma. It's on top of some rice. I could smell it when they set it down. I could smell it and it smelled like something I've never smelled before. It was just like the most beautiful aromatic smell. You get that in the taste? Yeah. Okay, this is something that Matt and I love. If you've watched our videos where we go to Detroit and try several restaurants there uh, that, that are some of the best restaurants in Detroit for Middle, Middle Eastern food and Mediterranean food, we love, uh-oh, I forget what it's called. Fatouche. Fatouche. It's the salad and it's got seasoning on it. It's got cucumbers, which is my favorite, of course. It's got tomatoes, which Matt loves. And this salad, for some reason, just makes me crazy. I love it. Oh, and it's got onions in it. So I like a salad with, like, even, it doesn't even have to have the lettuce. It can just have the onions and the cucumbers and the tomatoes in it. I like a salad like that. So if you like that kind of salad, you would love this salad. Mm. It's been so long since we've had Mediterranean food, isn't it, ma'am? Perfect complement to the meal. And I think it's about time for our main course. Okay, so um, we have dug into the meat and it was just as Maria who, we've seen her with people coming in. She is talking to everybody, finding out what they like and um, making the dish specifically for them. And we have tried all of these meats. The chicken is just as she promised. It's seasoned um, and juicy. That's her favorite. The, she brought us a complimentary um, shawarma, and it was 
delicious. I mean, just amazing, great flavors. And then there's two other meats. One is just beef, and it um, everything tastes like the seasoning is just perfect. It's not plain. There is nothing that just has is flavorless. Everything has its own distinct flavor. And then also, what's this called? Uh, this last one? Lulu kebab. Lulu. Lulu. Lulu kebab. And um, it's something that it, it says it's just like a minced meat uh, put together. It reminds me of kind of like kofta, um, but uh, it's just delicious. I don't know. You'll just have to come here and see how you feel about it. But um, I think that for me being open a couple months, I have a feeling that this restaurant is going to do really well because this is really special flavors for here in Vegas. Um, I love it. Hope you like it too if you come to visit.